Okay, today we're going to do a gravity lab. Woo! Okay, so here's what you're going to be doing. You're actually going to be doing something crazy, huh? So we're going to measure gravity. We're going to calculate the acceleration of gravity to prove that it's 9.8, which you hopefully will get, or at least close to that. All right. Now, for these materials, this is kind of like the in-class version, so you don't have to use exactly these materials. You're just going to write down what you used. Okay. So you're going to need some type of ball or object that can be dropped and you're going to need some kind of timing device like your phone or a stopwatch or your stopwatch on your phone whichever you want you're actually not going to need the meter sticks for this one okay but I'll, we'll, you'll, I'll show you why in a second here so what you're going to do is you're going to set the meter sticks slightly apart but level so they can form two rails that the tennis ball can roll along the end of extends off the edge of the counter so the ball can drop to the floor at the end All right. so basically what you're going to do is you're going to roll a ball and it's going to drop off the edge of the table and it's going to hit the ground okay so you're going to roll a tennis ball record the motion we're not going to bother with their velocity this time all we're going to do is we are going to measure what's this distance and what's the time it takes after the ball crosses here and hits the ground okay so that's what we are going to be working on so we're going to measure the distance on the ground to track and we're going to repeat it with different heights or different velocities or whichever you want but really we just care about the different heights you can also drop the tennis ball if you want from different heights but you'll need to measure it uh, so I guess you will need a meter stick or a yard stick or whatever you can do small distances too but they'll be harder to measure anyways you're going to need to drop the ball and measure how long it takes to hit the ground and measure the distance and that's it one of the easiest ways to do it is just record a video that way you can uh, you know uh, scrub the video back and forth to figure out what the times are and then figure out the difference and you'll just have to measure it. I would use a table because tables are easy to measure. Okay. What you're going to do after that is you're going to enter your data into this wonderful chart that we have on your Google Classroom. All right, Mr. Keeney has some sample data here. Let's say I am the yellow smiley face. I measured that I my first drop was 1.6 meters and it took Oh, 0.72 seconds and then I'd have to calculate what the acceleration would be for there all right for these pieces of information just like mr. Keeney did you don't need to enter the units you can just enter the number I have it set up so it automatically has two decimal points in there so you'll be fine for that once you type it in you'll see the average for the whole class the average will update once you type in yours in here you need to do three trials and then you're going to check back later on when we're doing the lab report and you're going to copy the data from everyone that way we have more data and you didn't have to do all of it so we're going to work like as one group does that make sense okay so that's how you're that's where you're going to put your data in there so there's a due date for here because you know you need to get your data in there before everyone needs it so all you got to do is drop a ball and measure the distance and measure the time and that's it recommendation is to not use glass you can use like a tennis ball or a rubber ball or something that just won't break all right make sure you have parental supervision if you're feeling worried have fun